do this? Yeah. Which way? Which way do we go? It's early, considering we're up late. Watching a super, super bowl go into overtime. Let's go this way. It's luckily doing a lot better, but uh, basically, two at a time. See that? Uh, two legs on the step at the same time. That's how it manages this. We got this door, and he just knows the way. I know. We can't get out the door fast enough, can we? And then usually there's a bus unloading and a bunch of people. And I come out and start talking. And I get somewhat embarrassed because I'm making so much noise. There they are. And there's our pink sky this morning. Got the crows talking to us. A lot more quiet on a Monday. Monday's a good day to ski if you can get it. Looks like there's a tiny bit of snow falling up here. Everyone's like, we need snow in the Mad River Glen Valley. We need snow at Mount Mansfield. Yes, we do. But it's not really in the forecast, is it? We got the old snow that's still on the ground here. And in some cases, where you have these dirt roads and dirt parking lots, they're just big sheets of muddy ice now because of the first February thaw with some rain and the refreeze. That's definitely a little snow flurry up there. So we have that going for us. But all eyes are really in the southeastern United States where there's a tornado watch in effect in Alabama with flash flooding this morning. That's about a 999 low pressure system. That's fairly strong. Anytime you get them in the 990s, that's fairly strong. And then you move it north into Kentucky and West Virginia this evening. Now it's down to 997. And we still have low pressure north of New England instead of high pressure, which is good. I've been trying to say why this would not be a blizzard, but it's getting harder and harder to say why it will not be a blizzard because it looks like it might be a blizzard. Let's go to uh, 12 hours later. Now we're in the 970s and still deepening. So it does look like we're gonna have a, a pressure drop of 24 millibars or so from the mid upper 990s to the 970s within 24 hours. And then there it is pulling away as the snow ends tomorrow at 972, which is about 28.79 inches on the barometer. That would be about 100 miles south of Nantucket. If this is all snow on parts of Cape Cod where there is a high wind warning in effect, you have a high wind warning for gusts possibly to 60 miles per hour, and you have heavy snow, that's a blizzard. <laughs> Question is, where's gonna be the edge of that strongest wind and the heaviest snow? Looks like it pretty, pretty close to the South Shore of Massachusetts, pretty close to where T-Rex and I are gonna be tomorrow morning. Should we go to Cape Cod and chase or just let it come to Weymouth? I don't even want the snow really that much in southeastern New England. It's fun to watch and everything, but it's gonna be a major disruption and we want the snow up here. <laughs> and where is gonna, when's it gonna snow up here? Well, there's something coming in on the backside of that. And it looks like a little front with some lake effect coming through here with an Arctic boundary coming through Tuesday. And then that's gone. And then maybe another one on Thursday and Friday and perhaps a, a coastal next Sat uh, Saturday, six days from now. And then another one about seven or eight days from now on Tuesday. So they kind of all lined up, but this immediate one is of course the major concern. Here's the Brewster three to five day. Uh, there it is, the mostly snow tomorrow. I'm showing Brewster because I think that that's a potential uh, most damaging situation. And snowfall, where it's all snow, even though I said, you know, this is gonna be a fast mover, it's slowed down just enough, 12 hours times about an inch an hour. It's gonna be a foot of snow for a lot of people uh, from Connecticut to Massachusetts and maybe right down to Falmouth and Mashpee. Nantucket may even go from rain to snow on the backside with a lot of wind and the coastal flooding. 977 millibar low. Thankfully, it's staying 100 miles south of Nantucket. If that were to come right over us, it would be major flooding because just like 
Wind is air moving from high to low pressure. Flooding is water moving from high to low pressure. You get the uh, gravity kicking in there too on both of those counts, but the new moon, astronomical high tide, and that low barometer, and the onshore wind gusting past 50 miles an hour. This could be a pretty big coastal erosion event. That'd be about the fourth one in six weeks with some major to severe coastal erosion and moderate flooding. So it's not really good news. Just kind of gets all the weather geeks jacked up and people that have not made any money plowing snow. We haven't had a snow this strong in a few years. So that's on the table. I'm going to try and go skiing. So this is just a quick out the door weather and more. And then I'll be back doing the play-by-play -play of the storm tomorrow. Uh, I'm not going to lift too much from the Super Bowl. It was a great game. Uh, just show you some highlights from skiing. Late in the day yesterday when the sun came out, it turned really nice. And we'll be heading home today just to watch the storm. I don't even really have to go home. But uh, I am a weather geek, and I'm going to be watching just like everyone else. Talk to you later. Rhyme. Ice rebuild in the clouds. Super cooled water freezes on contact. Pretty much lost all the rhyme ice that was here. There's a little snow left on the trees right there. Oops. There. I hear music. There's a Mount Mansfield cloud, but there's a spruce peak blue sky. And it's really softened up. Got some corn snow, especially where the sun hit it. I think the shade is a completely different story. And skier traffic is helped out a lot too. Beautiful afternoon. Fun sky. Hello, bird. Yeah, a few thin spots. Come on, Mother Nature. Kick it back in. Nice, well-defined, lifted condensation level. So my people are watching Love Island. Oh well. The big game preview. Who cares about that that much? But really, I'd rather be watching the golf, but you know, I'm not always in charge. There's the mountain as the sun goes down here. The skating rink, kids having a blast. Ow, that looked like it hurt a little bit. And you can still see that there's snow on the roofs, especially in the shadowy areas. So we didn't lose our snowpack, but I'm hearing a lot of complaints about the consolidation and the ice factor over the last 36 hours. We will rebuild. We will rebuild Josh and Jay. How's your driveway? Yeah, not quite mud season, ice season. We need to cover that with some snow. That's the goal. By the end of the week, or in 10 days, all of us should have had at least a little bit of snow. How'd that game go? Was it a good big game? Hope so. Delivering one child with ski boots. Did anyone order a child? <laughs> Funny. And more and more and more and more. 